I love these kerosene lamps. I always keep them around in case of a power outage. This one here, I've had literally most of my life. That with beeswax candles, they're always on the shelf ready to go. But I gotta tell you, this day and age, if the power goes out, the first thing I'm reaching for is my LED flashlight so I can find my way to my power supply. This is the Blue Eddy AC180T. I know Blue Eddy already has a 180, but it's nothing like this one. This is totally different. You know, one of the things that I love about Blue Eddy, and I've been doing uh, reviews for them for a number of years now, beginning with the original AC50, little 500 watt hour unit. Then they came out with the AC50S, which was the LifePo 4 model, and everything has been LifePo 4 after that. Blue Eddy is constantly coming out with new products. They're always researching and their technology is always up to the minute, just the latest thing you can get. That's what this is. This is different and it opens up a whole new ball game of things that you can do with it. I know the first thing you're seeing is these two batteries sitting over here. These are two 716 watt hour removable batteries that fit down inside of this. Not only are they removable from this unit here, but they can be used in other Blue Eddy products, such, such as the new Blue Eddy refrigerator that they've just come out with. Uh, it's not quite on the market at the, uh, at the time that I'm um, recording this video, but it will be. And these two LifePo 4 batteries will slide into that refrigerator and power it for up to six days. Uh, we'll talk more about that refrigerator here in just a minute. The thing that I want to show you though is that these, these batteries fit down into here. And you can power this unit with one battery or two batteries. That's important, I'll tell you why. You can buy more of these batteries and you can have a half a dozen of them sitting around your house in case of power outage. All you got to do is keep putting batteries in here. When the power comes back on, of course, this will charge those batteries. But right now, this unit will put out 1800 watts of power from the AC side here. With one battery in it, it'll still put out 1200 watts of AC power over here, not to mention the DC power. So that means you can have one battery in your Blue Eddy refrigerator and the other battery still running this power unit. Now I'm going to be getting that refrigerator here pretty soon. So the next thing that you're going to see from me as far as Blue Eddy is concerned is a review on that refrigerator. And I know that it's a fantastic unit. It, uh, it's 40 liters, maybe about 45 quarts. It has a refrigerator compartment that can be a refrigerator or a freezer. It'll run off of just plugging it into a cigarette lighter um, or you can plug it into AC and it'll run off of these two batteries. Now these two batteries, like I mentioned, will run that refrigerator in average temperatures for six days. So when, and when one battery goes dead, you can just put it back in here and charge it up while you put the other battery in. That's pretty cool. The other thing is it makes it so that you can take one battery out, put it in the refrigerator, and take that refrigerator fishing with you and be gone all day and not have to worry about it. Do you like to have ice in your drinks? Because the other thing that that Blue Eddy cooler does is it makes ice cubes every 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes you're going to get a tray of ice out of that Blue Eddy refrigerator. That's incredible. I like that. I've never had ice while Linda and I have been on the road, uh, and I'm looking forward to having ice cubes now. I know Linda's going to love it. Let me just give you a closer look at this. It's got the four AC outlets over here, and with the two batteries in, you get 1800 watts, which with a uh, peak surge of 3600 watts. And with one battery in, you still get 1200 watts of power over here, which is considerable, plus you get a peak of 2400 watts. In the middle here, you've got your um, USB-A ports, and these are uh, 15 watts each, three amps. And then I like that it's got two USB-Cs, and these are 100 watts, which I always, I, I always mention I like that, because either one of these will run my power-hungry laptop, which I, so I, I really like that. A lot of units only have 65 watts on one of these. This has got two at 100. Of course, over here, you've got your, your DC cigarette lighter plug. This is where you might be plugging your refrigerator into. And up here is where you can plug in your solar here. And also your car cigarette lighter adapter plugs in here for charging. Speaking of charging, 
With two batteries in here, this will charge at 1440 watts, take about an hour and a half to charge. With one battery in here, this will charge at 850 watts and charge in maybe just about an hour. One really important feature is when you're plugged into AC, this will charge to 80% in just 48 minutes. So if you're getting rolling blackouts, that's a good feature to have. Using the cigarette lighter adapter here to the XT60 for your car, uh, this will charge at 96 watts. And if you're plugged into 24 volt system, like on a semi or something like that, it'll charge at 192 watts. Using the um, MC4 connectors here to the XT60 for solar charging, it'll take 500 watts at 10 amps, and it'll accept a voltage range of 12 to 60 volts, which means that you can have your solar panels hooked up in parallel or in series, up to 60 volts. And of course, you can plug it into a generator and charge it that way too. You can also put it in eco mode, and that helps um, preserve the battery when it's like in standby mode. Also, you can of course adjust it between 50 and 60 hertz. When you're recharging it with AC, it has three levels of charging. It's got the standard mode, which is um, 450 watts with one battery in and 900 watts with two batteries in. Then there's the turbo mode, which charges this thing really fast, like, like I said, about an hour and a half or less. And that, uh, if you have one battery in, that's going to charge at 850 watts. And if you've got two batteries in, that's going to charge it at 1440 watts. Of course, while it's doing that, the fan is on and it, it the fan's not I wouldn't call it noisy, but yeah, you're going to hear the fan. There is the silent mode though, and that'll recharge one battery at 360 watts, or if you've got both batteries in at 720 watts, and that's for quiet operation. The thing with recharging lithium iron phosphate batteries or any lithium battery is you want to charge them as gently as possible. Yes, this will charge in, you know, uh, one and a half hours. And on silent mode, it'll charge it, oh, at about four hours but it's safer for the battery and make your battery last longer. And by the way, there's a Bluetooth app and for this Blue Eddy, and that's the easiest way to make all the changes. And it's got a nice carrying bag to carry everything, keep it all neat and tidy. Comes with really good instructions. It also has a five-year warranty on it. Let's get some specs out of the way. Weighs 28.5 kilos or about uh, 58.4 pounds. It's not a lightweight. Each one of these batteries weighs 18.7 pounds or about, I think it's about eight and a half kilos. I already mentioned to you, you get 1800 watts on this side with two batteries in. You get a total of 10 amps of DC power out of the DC side. It's not a lightweight, not exactly easy to carry around, but it does have a carrying handle on either side here that you can get your fingers into and lift it up. I'll probably just get Linda to do it. It's got a beautiful bright display on it. You can see it in, even in broad sunny daylight, you can see this display. And it shows the um, DC input up here and the uh, DC output down here. It shows the AC input on this side and the AC output down here. How many uh, percent the battery is, right now it's at 54%, and how many hours you've got left on whatever power load you have plugged into here. And the outside is segmented to give you an idea of power remaining also. Of course it has a pass-through charging and a UPS feature or uninterrupted power source features so that if you've got something plugged into it uh, and the power goes out, it'll automatically kick in immediately and run that item, whatever it is. What will this run? It'll run just about anything you have in your house. It'll run your refrigerator, it'll run your freezer, it'll run my furnace, my gas furnace. I can plug that into here in case of power outage. So you can imagine what it can do for you in an RV. It'll run just about anything you got, uh, hair dryers, anything like that. Oh, which reminds me, it also has a power boosting mode. In case you're not familiar with power lifting mode, it's for basically for heating elements. You can run a hair dryer or an electric heater. Um, a cooktop of some or something up to 2700 watts. It's only going to give you 1800 watts, but it's going to run that electrical power without tripping the unit here. Well, the next thing that's coming out is month of February, next month, when I get the refrigerator, I'll be showing this in conjunction with the refrigerator, how the two of them work together. And I don't know if Blue Eddy's gonna come out with other products that use these batteries. I wish they would. Seems like one would work really well in an e-bike, don't you think? Because each of these batteries is 26 amp hours, and that would run an e-bike for a long time. You hear me, Blue Eddy?
<laughs> Anyhow, I'm looking forward to the refrigerator and whatever other products they come out with. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you got something out of it. If you are looking for a power unit, you know, most of us need a power unit and a refrigerator. This is one heck of a combo, so I suggest you look into it. I don't know what the price of these are going to be right now. I know it's going to be competitive for what they are, but the price hasn't been posted yet. Be sure and click on the links down below this video for any uh, uh, discounts. I'll, if there's going to be any discounts with the Gone Again, I'll be sure and link that in the video description. Also, see you around.